This is an ABC News special report. And we are back on the air right now. Police and FBI officials have come to the podium in Orlando, Florida. Let's listen in. This is going to be on identifying the victims and notifying the families. We're setting up a hotline for concerned family members. There's 407-246-4357. The identification process may take some time. So we ask for your patience because we want to be accurate. Concerned family members can call the hotline, however, and let them know that you have someone that you are concerned about. I continue to be so proud of our community, the support that is shown, the response that has been made. I'm also thankful to um, entities from all around the country and all over the state of Florida. The governor has made all the resources of the state of Florida available. Orange County has made all of their resources available. Um, we have assistance from the White House, so every possible asset we have brought to bear. Mayor Jacobs. Thank you, Mayor Dyer. Of course, let me start with expressing my sympathy uh, for the families, for the loved ones of those who we have lost in the last 24 hours. We know that this affects a large segment of our community. We know that there, we have a very close-knit LGBT community who has been dramatically impacted by this. So to everyone who is impacted, I want you to know that our thoughts and prayers are with you and that we are a united community and that what we saw last night does not reflect what we feel in our hearts and our souls here in Orange County. And I am calling on every citizen here in Orange County to never forget that we stand together in times of adversity, but we don't just stand together as the city of Orlando and Orange County. We stand together as a country. We have heard from Texas. We have heard from states all across the country wanting to know what they can do to help. So when evil like this comes to our community, we respond in force. I guarantee you we will do that again. And thank you all for everything that you do to make this such a wonderful place to be. We know it's going to take time to be able to answer the questions of the loved ones. And there's nothing, nothing more difficult than waiting to find out the status of the people that you love. Please be patient. We're doing our best. Thank you. As Mayor Dyer said, at this point, uh, the nightclub pulse uh, has been cleared and deemed safe of any devices. We're in the process of clearing uh, the suspect's vehicle, which is a van right outside. And just we ask that um, people be patient. Unfortunately, uh, there are many victims inside the club. But uh, like was said, you know, our priority will be on the identification of the victims, notifi notification of the next kid. I also want to take this opportunity to thank all the outpouring of law enforcement support from as far away as Boston uh, and Chicago that uh, let us use their resources if needed. And of course, uh, great community support from the, the Central Florida law enforcement community as well. I also want to um, uh, commend uh, the heroic and courageous actions of the initial responding officers to exchange gunfire with the suspect, and also the heroic and courageous actions of our SWAT team uh, who rescued uh, at least 30 victims, possible victims, and brought them, brought them to safety.